Howard the Duck is, I think, one of the most strange and baffling movies that I've ever uh, watched. Um, uh, I don't even know where to start to uh, to describe this thing. Um, I don't know why this movie was made, um, or uh, why George Lucas <laughs> made it. Um, I, for some reason, Tim Robbins is in this thing. I don't even know. Um, the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the girl from Back to the Future. I don't know how they ended up here, but they did apparently. Um, so the basic plot, if you could call it a plot, of this movie is basically that Howard the Duck, um, gets teletransported to Earth because of, like, a space laser or something that they built on Earth. And then, like, the the first half or so of the movie is about him trying to get home. But then it's like, oh, the space laser thing didn't work, so now it brought down, like, this evil thing, this evil alien, and now they have to fight that. Which just... <sighs> Okay, um, the opening for this movie is just insane. <laughs> um, I, everything about this is just the, it's just the weirdest thing. Um, for some reason, this movie is rated PG, um, when it should not be. I have no idea who the audience for this movie is. Um, it's not PG, <laughs> because... <laughs> There are a lot of jokes in this movie that would not let a kid see. Um, I, I have no idea who the intended audience is. Um, adults, I don't think, would ever voluntarily watch this. But you can't show it to kids. So, I guess demons. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, wow. This movie is a mess. Um... I don't even know what to say, really. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole sequence uh, in this movie where Howard the Duck and Tim Robbins, uh, they steal, like, this plane-type thing, and they're escaping from the cops because for some reason Tim Robbins got arrested even though he did nothing wrong. <laughs> And it is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> um, there's a there's also this weird uh, this weird sequence where uh, Howard tries to find a job, which goes nowhere and is pointless and does not. It, there's no reason for that scene to be in the movie. Like it's just there, and then he quits. Um, he works like a bathhouse or something, and it's the weirdest thing. Um, and it's really out of place because even though this movie is, like, crazy, like, the scene, most of the scenes still have, like, a purpose, and they, like, you know, do something for the plot, and they have, like, a purpose, kind of, but <laughs> that one just does nothing and there's no reason to be there. There's also this really weird, um, like, romance subplot between, uh, Howard the Duck and, uh, the girl from Back to the Future. Because she's in this for some reason. It's, there, there, it's there in some scenes, um, but, like, it doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> I don't know what... It's just so weird. Like, I don't even know. There's like a whole the there's like a whole scene where like they're in a they're like in bed together for some reason and it's implied that like they're in love or something not really implied it's like impl it's like obvious they don't even try to hide it um like she she uses the words animal magnetism <laughs> when talking to him and I just, I, I burst out laughing at that scene. Um, it's just crazy. 
Like, I... It's like, and it's stuff like that, where it's like, you can't... How is this PG? You can't show that to a child. Um, it's just the most baffling thing that I think I've ever seen in a movie. And I don't know how or why they decided to make this. Like, I don't even know. Yeah, and the the villain in this movie is played by uh, the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, kind of. He's like a scientist, and he's good for most of the movie, and then he gets, like, possessed by the, the evil alien or something. Um, I... The, the back of this, this case describes it as a, a wacky, elaborately produced spoof on life, love, comic books, and horror movies. Which, like, I don't really know if you can put those things together in a movie. I mean, maybe you could if it wasn't Howard the Duck. But, uh, I guess this is just the movie they decided to make. Um, this is what we got. Uh... This, this nightmare fuel thing. Um, if you have not seen this movie, um, watch it if you want. I don't know. This thing is just, it's an anomaly. Um, I don't know how you would go from Star Wars and Indiana Jones, two of the most influential film franchises of all time, to Howard the Duck. Like, I don't understand how this happened. Um, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say here. This thing is just crazy to me. Um, so, I don't know. I guess that's my review of Howard the Duck. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't know. Subscribe if you want. Um, I'll probably post more reviews in the future. Hopefully I'll get better at it, because I don't think I did a very good job with this one. Um, but yeah, subscribe or whatever, I don't know. Bye.